Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my May favorites and fails. All the things I have been loving and not loving during the month of May. Before I get started, I want to let you guys know that if uh, you're feeling this look like I am, <laughs> there is already a tutorial for it and it is linked down below. The first thing I want to talk about is actually on my wrist because <laughs> I know if I don't talk about it right now, I will forget. It's like if it's not in this pile, I will forget about it. And uh, this is something that I actually bought for myself on Mother's Day. I saw it, I love the band of it, the like, I don't know, camel color leather. And I have this thing for men's watches. I like them because they are larger and because I have so much going on with my tattoos and just everything, I like larger pieces. I like larger jewelry in general. And this watch is so cool. Other than just the band being really neat and a, it fits me. <laughs> I was worried about that because I have an itty bitty wrist and I have it on the tightest one and it fits me, which is really nice. But I don't know if you guys can tell, it has like this red and blue reflect to it. I just think it is so cool and it's from Diesel. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't look at this and say, oh, what time is it? Or anything else, the date, whatever. I'm always just looking at my phone for that, but I like to accessorize and there is just something that is so fun and funky about this watch. So this is my first favorite of the month. Now let's get into the makeup. This is one of the most shocking things to me because I honestly thought that that I was going to love this, but that I wasn't going to be able to continuously use it because it's from Charlotte Tilbury and Charlotte Tilbury loves her cornstarch. <laughs> and it's based off of a powder that has cornstarch. This is the Airbrush Bronzer and it is a amazing. I got two different shades, the first shade fair and then the second shade which is medium. I think there should be a light in there, <laughs> like a fair light and then medium. There definitely needs to be another shade between the third and the fourth. But anyway, I digress. This is shade number two. I gave away shade number one to a friend of mine and I have this on right now. This is so blendable. It is seamless. I don't think I've ever tried a bronzer that is more blendable than this. This truly is airbrush-like. It just goes into the skin, blends out, and it gives you the perfect sun-kissed look. I just love this. And the color of it is just absolute perfection. It's warm, but it's not too warm. And it's also not too cool. It's not neutral. It's still warm. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely still warm, but it's just not orange. And I love that about this. There's nothing that I would change about it. There's also going to be refills, which I think is amazing because the bronzer in of itself with the compact and the bronzer is $55, but it's going to have a refill. If you see this little hole back here, you can actually pop out the pan and there will be refills. I don't know when they're gonna be coming out, but I'm sure <laughs> I won't run out of this before they do come out. <laughs> Another set of bronzers I wanna talk about are from Guerlain. I finally found a Guerlain bronzer that works for me. I have tried so many of the limited edition ones and I had kept failing, kept failing, kept failing, and I almost gave up. But I saw these and I was intrigued, but for a little while the light one was sold out and I was like I feel like I need the light one. Uh, I have two different shades again I got the light and the medium and these are called the terracotta matte the sculpting powder matte finish long lasting whatever you know. I love the packaging. My daughter was like that is so cool. She saw it while I was sitting in here doing swatches with her. She's like oh that's really neat. This one is the light one. This one's my favorite of the two just because it's the perfect shade right now. Let me show you right up against the bronzer from uh, from Charlotte Tilbury. If you watch my Charlotte Tilbury video, I do have these swatched so you can see how they look side by side. This is the light one in comparison to the medium one from Charlotte. And then I also have the medium and I thought I wouldn't be able to use the medium. I thought it was going to be too dark, but as long as I use a light hand, 
this does work for me and I, I really didn't think it would. So here is the medium up against the medium from Charlotte Tilbury and you can tell that this one is a little bit darker. If you don't like fragrance, these are not going to be for you. They definitely smell perfumey but they don't bother me at all. But the scent is definitely there. These blend out like a dream. Nothing like the Charlotte one. The Charlotte one definitely trumps these but there's something about it i love the matte finish i love the colors of these and they do blend out really really well it's just i've been grabbing for these non-stop mainly the light one before i got the charlotte one now it's like i'm going back and forth I can't tell you which one I like better. I really can't. I can tell you that I like the blendability of the Charlotte one better. I would have to just base them off of the color and what I'm going for for that day because sometimes I want something a little bit darker. Sometimes I want something a little bit lighter. And the thing with this is the light version of the Guerlain is so natural on me. It gives me a bronze without it being obvious at all. All. Like it doesn't give me too much color. It just looks absolutely natural. And I think that's what would happen if Charlotte had done a light one instead of skipping that shade. As of right now, those are my go-to bronzers. Getting into eyeshadow palettes, I have two favorites for the month. The first one is a colorful eyeshadow palette, or technically it's a pro pigment palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Norvina, or the Norvina collection. This is my favorite from the entire collection that she has done. This is the Pro Volume 4. This is beautiful. It's even prettier in person than it is online. And I have played with this several times and I just love it. If I could get it open, that would be good. This is what she looks like. It kind of looks like what I have on my eyes today, but it's not. I have Kaleidos on my eyes today. This palette is stunning. I love the shades in here. I love the neons. I love the sparkle in here. I love the glitters. I know that some people do not like glitters in their palettes, but there's only two. So out of all the shades, there's only two. And this one, oh, I love this one right here. It is green and gold and it is stunning. I could take this and just pop it over the eye look that I have on right now and call it a day. I have now tried every single shade in this palette with the exception of like maybe two or three max. There's only one shade that I feel like underperforms and it's this one here. I talked about it in my review. It's just, it's a little lackluster and I feel like you're gonna need a white base underneath it to really make it pop, which kind of sucks because when you're looking at this palette, it, your eye goes straight to that shade, but everything else is so well done. And it's it's strange because I look at this and I think this is really a colorful palette. It's a pink and purple, beautiful palette, but there's so many natural shades in here. If you look at just this square right there, that looks like a Tom Ford quad to me. <laughs> it really, really does. So you can get amazing daily wear looks out of this. You can pair it with some color. You can get work appropriate looks with this. I love all the different textures. It's just such a beautiful palette and I cannot get enough of it. This, kudos, this is amazing, this is amazing. And I have heard some comments of people saying there's too many pinks or they look too similar. I'm telling you, on the eyes, you can take all of those pinks and make a gradient and you're gonna be able to see the difference between them. They're similar, but they're definitely not the same. The next one is from Charlotte Tilbury and I am not even on the warm train so much anymore, but this palette is amazing. It is amazing. It is the new Desert Haze Luxury Palette and uh, it packs a punch. These mattes are so soft, so creamy, so pigmented, so blendable. All the things that you want in a palette is it's this. It is so user friendly and it's so pigmented that it's going to show up on deeper complexions as well. It's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. If you're looking for the perfect all matte quad, you like warm tones and you want some depth, this is it. This really, I'm telling you, you get such a sultry eye with this. And again, you can also do an everyday look. You could take this shade right here, 
set your entire eye with it so that it will kind of mute the other sage that you put down and then just go in with either one of these two or both on the outer corner and you're going to get a very light look out of it. It's just a beautiful palette. It really makes me want to dive into warm tones again. Not the, the really, really bright oranges and the reds and stuff, but it just... It makes me want to lean that way because I've very much been on the pinks, the neutrals, the cool tones, but this palette is just, it's so beautiful. I will say though, please watch the video where I compare this to the Darling palette as well as the new Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette, the Pillow Talk one. You don't need all three, but this one definitely has more depth to it than the other two. This one's kind of random, but I was watching Dr. Dre and she mentioned this product and I immediately purchased it. And then after I used it, <laughs> I purchased three more bottles or or, I guess tubes of it. This is carousel. Carousel. I'm not sure exactly how to say it, but it's the intensive foot repair. And she was comparing it to the baby foot peel, which I really love. And I love the one from PMD. They actually work for me. They really, really do. And there's something so satisfying about seeing like your skin peel off. I know some people might be totally grossed out by that, but and if you are grossed out by that, this is going to be for you. I like that personally, but this keeps my feet soft all the time. I love this. And it says that you see a difference in one day and it's not lying. I was like, there is no way that you're actually going to see a difference in one night because you put this on, you don't need much and it's going to really moisturize your skin, but it's also exfoliating the skin. And I cannot believe the difference in one night. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is that you have to put socks on afterwards. It helps to lock everything in. I guess you don't have to, but you should. And I'm not somebody who likes to wear socks to sleep. So every once in a while, I'll wear this to bed, but I have like I have it on my feet right now with my socks on because I'm not leaving the house. So I would rather do it during the day and have it on all day rather than all night <laughs> because I don't like wearing socks to bed. But this truly makes a difference because of how I walk and how I've walked for years. You got to think I've only had my knee replacement for, I think, almost two years now. Almost, not quite. And... I have done some damage to the bottoms of my feet because my alignment has been completely off. And this is making my feet look so good. My feet actually feel soft and they feel moisturized and it's just slowly getting the dead skin and like the calluses off. I have them mainly on my right side. That's the knee that was messed up. So it's the most messed up foot too. <laughs> this stuff is amazing. I could not believe it and it's not expensive at all. I love it. I love it so much. Lip products. First off, Wayne Goss. The entire collection as a whole, I've got to tell you, is a favorite. There's not a shade in the entire collection of liners, glosses, or lipsticks that I do not like, but I'm not going to sit here and do a whole nother swatch video. <laughs> so I just picked out a few of them that I have been really grabbing for, and I'm going to show them to you. Here's three of the Wayne Goss Cosmetics Luxury Cream Lipsticks. These were sent to me, by the way. Uh, what shade do I have first? Camellia. Yeah, these feel so, so nice. This is my type of lipstick. I love the texture of it. It's creamy, it's buildable, it feels so nice on the lips, it's hydrating, it's just amazing. This is Camellia. Of course, you guys know I'm picking out all the nudes. Then we have Dahlia, that one right there, and Daisy. There you have it. So all three of those. Those are kind of my go-tos. I really love Lotus and Orchid. I, I mean, like I said, I, I love so many of them. But the formula, everything, he did such an amazing job. If you like lipsticks, like, like say like the Tom Ford lipsticks, then you will like these. These are just so, so nice. Then we have the Essential Lip Liners. Now, I bought <laughs> several of these. It would only let me buy three at a time. And I was like, no! <laughs> but this is the shade vintage pink. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a neutral pink brown almost. I don't know how to describe it. It's not as pink as kitten. Kitten I have on right now. And then sepia. I think he says sepia. 
I don't know. He says it much prettier and fancier than I do. This is not one that I thought I was going to use as much as I do because generally speaking, I really love the lighter lip liners. It's, it's just my go-to, but I have been grabbing for this. I think it looks so lovely with so many lipsticks. I recently paired this with a Charlotte Tilbury, which I don't remember which one it was, but this is gorgeous. I feel like it makes my lips look just like a little bit bigger than what they actually are because I have little teeny tiny lips that I have to fake making them look a little larger. <laughs> and then the glosses. I have two that are my go-tos and they are Antique Rose. <sighs> so pretty, so, so pretty. Uh, it has this beautiful sparkle to it and it goes on top of any and everything. And then I have Hibiscus that one right there. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh my gosh, they are so, so, so pretty. I have some more jewelry I want to talk about. These are from Ravenstone. I have talked about this brand before. They're on Etsy. I have so many of their pieces and I love them. I just think they have such unique things and then they have a lot of bugs. <laughs> I love bugs. If you haven't noticed, I have a praying mantis here, a centipede here. I have a spider or black widow here. I have a cicada on this side. I mean, I, I just love them. I think that they are such beautiful little creatures. Do I want to play with them? No, but can I appreciate the way that they look? Absolutely. And then I have my little bee right here, which is what these are. I have a pair of the really big gold bees, but then she had these out and I was just like, Yes, give them to me. I love that oil slick look. I think that they are so pretty. And these are a little smaller, so it's not as in your face, but then they're colorful. I, I feel like I need these on with this eye look. I feel like I need them on. But not only did I get the earrings, I also got the necklace. Like it's exactly the same as the earrings, and it's just on a little gold chain so cute. I love them so much. Ah, Ravenstone, Twisted Silver, and Dow Hawk. They all have my heart. And then my last favorite are my wigs. <laughs> so I've been getting asked a lot of questions about how I install them, where do I get them from. A, I always link them down below. Whichever one I am wearing for the day, it's always linked down below. And they're always from Bellamy, except for that purple one that I'd had a while ago, the very first one I ever tried on. That one was from Amazon, but all the wigs that I'm wearing are natural hair. They're from Bellamy. And then my favorite ones are Bellamy and Tokyo Styles. They have a few collaboration pieces on there and I, I kind of want them all. But I have found that these wigs are really well made. I'm no expert by any means, don't get me wrong. But seeing as I'm wearing them and I'm styling them and just the quality they are amazing. So this one right here is just a Bellamy wig. I uh, don't remember the name of it. It's not a Tokyo Styles, it's just a Bellamy one and I really love it. And I've gotten asked before if I was sent these. No, I purchased all of them. Anywho, I wanna show you one that is from Tokyo Styles with Bellamy. The one that I wear the most that is, I would say the most natural looking, it has a darker root and then it goes down to an ashy blonde. It looks different on camera than what it actually is, but I think that one's called Eye Candy. I washed it last night so it is air drying. So I'm gonna show you the other one. This one, right? Right here. <laughs> okay, so this one is super, super long, and this is Tokyo Styles and Bellamy, and it's 100% natural human hair. This is the one that is the most platinum. I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two. I had to do, I had to use purple shampoo in this one to kind of take a little bit of the yellow um, out of it. It was a little bit more yellow whenever I got it. Now this one is just straight up. It has like a shadow root, but it's all platinum. It's so soft. And I want to show you, they are lace and I've of course, I've cut them and you can part them wherever you want to because the whole front part is lace, which is really nice. So you can see here and it's pre-plucked. Hopefully you guys can see through the line here, like the light right there. But yeah, and you can take this and just part it wherever you want to. But these are amazing. The quality is just phenomenal. Now for the fail, just one fail this month, and technically it's not a fail. It's something that I just keep thinking about. I don't know why, but 
I just keep thinking about it and it's irking my nerves. And I know it's just makeup, but it's just irking my nerves. And it's the NARS Orgasm, the mini orgasm palette. And I think the reason why this got brought back up to light was because I did my updates on it. And then I also talked about it in my recent eyeshadow palette tag. And this is the smallest palette in my collection. And I just, this the quality isn't bad, but I, every single one of the shades in here, I can dupe out with other palettes that I have from NARS. The only special shade to NARS in my collection is this one here. And they're just so tiny, like they're itty bitty. I don't grab for this. I wish I hadn't bought it. I don't like it. I don't recommend it. Even if you wanted to try out NARS, it's just, if you're gonna spend $25, do it on a Natasha Denona mini. Not just any mini, because they are not all created equal, but I don't know. This one's just starting to Mm -hmm. I, I, I want it out of my collection. I just want to hand it over to somebody and be like, here, take this. Take this from my collection and give me some more room. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites and fails. Let me know if you did by giving a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.